a lot more interesting than an electrician or an engineer or something like that. Well, I didn't really know then, and I don't really know now, what it takes to become a man of mystery. And I actually don't think it's that great of a thing to become if you're ever interested in supporting a family or owning a home. <laughs> what I've always interpreted it as, though, is living a life that's varied enough that it keeps those around you guessing what you're going to do next. And although, although I don't think I've intentionally lived a life like that, I think in a lot of ways it does describe the life that I've ended up living. To give you an idea of some of the varied things about my life that have kept people guessing, here are a few brief facts about myself. I once lived in an old school bus that my wife and I converted into a home with a toddler for a year and a half while I built my own house. I've worked in over 25 states, and I've also worked in Inner Mongolia. I'm probably one of just a few people in the world who've made their living rebuilding coal burning equipment and testing wind turbines. Now all that sounds pretty interesting, but in a lot of ways, I'm a pretty boring person as well. I'm an avid reader, and I'm a huge advocate for public libraries. Currently, I'm a board member on my local library board. I'm also a huge advocate for public transportation. I really think the world would be a much better place if we all slowed down, took the bus, and read a book every once in a while. Now, since each one of those personal snippets about my life has a whole story or persuasive speech that could go along with it, and I only have about five minutes for this talk, I'm not going to go into those further, and I'm going to stick to just a few main facts about my life. So, I was born and raised in a small town in New Hampshire called Ware. Now, <laughs> Ware? Yeah. So, being from a town called Ware is like constantly being in Abbott and Costello's Who's on First routine. <laughs> Someone asks you where you're from, you say, where? And they say, yeah, where are you from? <laughs> so it gets pretty tiring over the years, especially if you have a wife and kid who take every opportunity they can to harass you about it. <laughs> so yeah, I grew up in New Hampshire, and about 10 years ago, I found myself out here in Whatcom County. I currently live out in Deming, with my wife, my five-year-old son, and a yellow lab. My wife and I will be having our second child in about a month. You're probably all familiar with the saying that someone, say, grew up on a baseball field or a basketball court. Well, I grew up on a construction site. As I've mentioned before, I grew up working as a carpenter, and I also studied as an engineer after high school. And just in the past five years or so, I've also trained for and received my electrician's license. Even to myself, this sounds a lot like someone who doesn't really know what they want to do with themselves. But for me, what I've always wanted to be able to do is be capable in enough areas that I can take care of my own personal projects on my own and make a living that includes some degree of hands-on work. I've also always wanted to be able to make a living in a way that agrees with my personal beliefs on conservation, community service, and lasting quality. What I've found that is that in order to do that in today's world, I need to be skilled in a lot of different fields. And although I can't say that I've been truly successful in always applying my skills to productive projects, I do think that in a lot of ways, I've been successful in living a life that at least makes sense to me. Now, I don't really think that I've talked about anything tonight that sounds all that mysterious. But I can understand how some people have had a hard time putting a label on me over the years. If there's an upside to these varied interests and experiences, I hope that's going to be some interesting speech topics over the next few months. I'm also looking forward to using my Persuade with Power speech to convince some people in this room of my beliefs on public transportation and supporting their public library. And if I have one goal of something that was gained from tonight's speech, it's that hopefully I'll avoid ever having to go through the where are you from routine <laughs> in this room. Thank you.